it's like probably marble. Maybe it's uh, stone. I'm not sure, but either way, it'll work for mulling. And then you're going to want to sift your powder to get out any of the large chunks of stone that are still left. This is just an old tea ball that uh, made its way into the studio because it totally sucked for tea. And then I'm just adding the gum arabic, which is the watercolor medium used as a binder, smushing it around with my palette knife. And then after a bit of searching, I finally found these vintage salt and pepper shakers. And the main thing you need to look for is that they are flat, glass, and fairly sturdy. It's really important that it be perfectly flat on the bottom. It's the contact of the flat glass against the flat plate 